Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm doing my Chanel collection. And it's very small compared to what I've seen. But nonetheless, it is my collection. I love everything in it. And I cannot wait to share it with you. Because this is the Lux and Lipstick channel, my lip of the day is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Brat Pack. This is from one of their newest collections. And their collection that is from is called Wild Child just in case you're curious. It's a gorgeous nude. I love these. They're super creamy on the lips and I just love them. You'll have to check it out if you're lip junky like I am. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, my name is Candice. I do lots of luxury fashion and designer beauty content. Well, I don't do lots of designer beauty content at the moment, but it may happen in the future. So that's why we're gonna say that, just in case I decide to ever venture out into that on here. Let me know if you'd be interested, by the way. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in once again and staying subscribed, watching my videos. If you're new, hopefully you'll subscribe, stick around because I post lots of fun luxury videos here and we have lots of fun over here. Hopefully you guys do as well. If you're interested in my Chanel collection, keep watching. As I mentioned, I don't have many pieces. I actually have two SLGs and five bags. To keep things simple and easy for me, honestly, I'm going to show you my two card holders. This is the Quilted 19 card holder in Tiffany blue. And this is in caviar leather. Now I also have a trendy CC in this color, which is in, I think it's lambskin that I have that in. And the color does differ a little bit based on the texture. I'm sure y'all know that already. This retails for $6.95. I have no idea if they had another price increase before me to post this, but that's the price. This is now. This is actually my favorite card holder because it, it holds a lot more than their regular card holder. And this is the Chanel Caviar Quilted Card Holder in black. And I just got this to complement my medium classic flap. Now, they are the exact same size, but I feel like the 19 card holder has a lot more give in it. It stretches a lot more. I could fit a lot more in here. Although there's only one pocket at the front, you could fit way more. Even in the pockets at the back, you could fit way more. I could do a thorough review comparing the two I have. If you guys would like this one, this one also retails for $6.95 at the moment. Those are my two card holders. This one is current, currently in use and that's why I have stuff in here. Make sure I put that back before I leave the house with my purse and no wallet. But those are my two card holders. Next, I have two Chanel 19s that I just got within the past month, I know. I unboxed both of them as well. This one is from the 21P collection, and this is the caramel or brown color. But as you know, on the Lux and Lipstick channel, we call it nude, because as you can see, it's basically my color. It's called the medium, but it's the smallest size. It's confusing. So I just say small medium. And this retails for 5,100 at the moment. And I, this is actually the bag that I'm wearing right now. I have stuff in here. And I do have a detailed review coming on this soon. I just did an unboxing, but not the review. So I'm gonna compare these two as well. This one and then the next one I'm gonna show you. This is the medium large from the 21C collection. And this is violet. I realize a lot of you cannot find this bag. I, I have been trying, like seriously, to look this up and I can't find it. I'm finding everything else in violet except for this. You just kind of have to keep looking. I apologize. It's, see, I guess it's a very popular color right now. And maybe give it a little time because you might see some of these start to pop up on the on the secondhand market, like fashion phone, places like that. So definitely keep an eye out. I love this so much. This retails for 5,400 and I love it. I think my essay was right. I do like this size better. This is the second size. The larger size is the large maxi. And here they are side by side for the time being. I'm gonna do a dedicated review later. Comparison. So you guys can see the difference. I have a mini cocoa handle in denim and I got this in London from Selfridges. This is my very first Chanel bag. I've talked about it. This, where is my, here we go. I have a cheat sheet. This retails for 3,700 at the moment. And I love this, it has a back pocket. It's so cute and adorable. And I did get silver hardware. I think that's the only thing it came with. And also, I believe this released in 2018. If I find the exact collection, I'm not sure if it's 18C or, you know, K, 
I don't know. Because at, the, at that time, I was not following things like that. And I have no idea, to be honest with you. It does come with a longer strap too. I love this bag. It's so cute. I can do a review on this as well. Let me just show you. It's just an opening. I have the dust bag and a strap in there to keep it stuffed at the moment, but it's so cute. I love the little handle. I have the Trendy CC in Tiffany Blue. I've never shown, I don't think I've shown this on this channel. And I still have the plastic on there just because I'm so freaked out. I'm just freaked to take it off. This retails for 6,100. It does have a longer strap. I just have it tucked in there. And I can show you quickly. I still have the paper in here. It has three compartments. It has a flat one, a larger middle one, and then it has this one. I'm eventually gonna take the stuffing out, but let me tell you, this is in lambskin and it is so delicate, like way more delicate than caviar. And I told you guys I was gonna show you. I have that card holder in Tiffany Blue. The color does differ. The caviar is slightly darker, but they're the exact same color. It's so weird. I got this to compliment this. This is one occasion where I am super happy that I did buy a matching card holder. It doesn't match, but you know what I mean. Because I found a true love in this one compared to my black one that I have. I love it so much. I don't know if it's the caviar that's more stretchy, but actually the caviar, I have a caviar black one too, so it's not the caviar. I think it's just the way this is made. You can fit way more in here. And also I love the fact that if you put a lot of cars in here, like some wallets, like leather, like Saint Laurent and other brands, you put a lot of cars in there and you leave it for maybe a week or two and you start to get the imprint of the card on your leather. That doesn't happen with this one, no matter how much you put in here. So if you're looking for a card holder for Chanel, definitely this one, the 19. It's awesome. It's awesome. Obviously awesome. What was I about to say? <laughs> it's awesome. Trust me. Last thing I have to show you from Chanel is my medium classic flat in black caviar leather. This retails for $7,200 now. I did not pay that for this, but that is what it retails for. And I absolutely cannot believe that. That is insane. I seriously want it. Four or five colors in the classic flat, but I'm struggling to just drop the type of money on one bag. Like I still want the light blue and I still want the purple one that came out in 20, 20K, I think, 20 something. The most gorgeous purple, but man, that type of money. And now the fact that I have to pay a personal shopper on top of that to get it for me. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But this, nonetheless, is one of my favorite bags. I don't know if it's worth $7,100 or $7,200. That, that's crazy to me, but nonetheless, here it is in its glory. Y'all have seen it all over YouTube, I'm sure. Everybody has one. It's one of those bags that everyone has. And also, this is another bag that's considered the large, I think or medium. I don't know if they do the same thing with the classic flaps, but the 19, you know, I don't think they do with the classic flaps. They literally have the minis, the small, the medium, and the maxi. I think those are the only sizes. Or the large and then the maxi. I think they have the large in between. I don't know, but this is medium. Perfect size for me. I have a review of this coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. If you're subscribed, you won't miss out. I don't have any jewelry, anything like that, and I don't foresee myself getting any. I'm just really particular about getting expensive costume jewelry. Like I realized this is not luxury. And I feel like if I'm gonna spend hundreds of dollars, this is my opinion. I do have, you know, some Fendi earrings and you know, things like that. But I'm really particular when I drop hundreds of dollars on them. I don't want anything to tarnish. I don't want to have to send anything back. I feel like if I'm spending that type of money on costume jewelry, it needs to be real. Now, my Fendi earrings are an exception. Those are freaking awesome. They have not tarnished. I hope they do not. But from what I was promised, they won't. They are coated with something or another. I don't know. And yeah, I could do a review on those later. But I don't foresee myself getting any Chanel costume jewelry. It's, I don't know. I might. Let's never say never. But at the moment, I don't have any. I don't have any Chanel shoes, anything like that. Literally everything I showed you is all I have from Chanel. Those prices, the way they are, my collection is gonna grow very slowly. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this collection. I do plan on also doing my Saint Laurent and Dior collections, and then I'm gonna do my cohesive bag collection. Well, Tiger, I only have two bags. Fendi, I only have two bags. Well, I guess Fendi I could do too. 
because I have two nano baguettes and then I have two bags. Maybe I'll do Fendi too. So Saint Laurent, Dior, Fendi, and then my cohesive collection, everything. Because everything else is like two or less from each brand. So it's pointless to do a collection for those. But yeah, stay tuned for those. If you have any special requests for videos, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to add them to my list of things to do. Rate the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications so I don't miss any Alexa videos I post. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.